Hi guys, this is H Summer, and today we're gonna do a cosplay together. This is Yumeko Jabami from Kakegurui. We're making a series of videos of how to make cosplay at home, and this one is how to make a pleated skirt. This is the perfect project if you want to start sewing your own cosplays in your house. Oh, and I promise you won't see any spoilers here. Anyways, I kinda had a hard time trying to find the perfect fabric for this skirt because of the color and the pattern. Finding the right fabric depends only on your luck. It was truly a gamble. I went to Joanne's and I found this beauty, but traditionally this type of pattern is black and white and not black and gray like hers seems to be. This one looks a little bit more gray. And I've seen girls using it, nothing wrong with them, but they're not really what I'm looking for. And then I found this one, and oh my god, it's even cheaper. Okay, let's just pay and go home. But if this is your first cosplay, you might be wondering, how much fabric should I get? And here's the trick, you're going to fold the fabric in half by the length, that way you know that you have front and back, and wrap around your waist. That way you know how much fabric, and then since it's a pleated skirt, you would take twice that amount. Alright, time to cut your skirt. On the anime, the skirts are super short, only covering the necessary areas. For my height, this is 40 centimeters or 16 inches. I don't see a problem making a super short skirt because she's wearing tights anyways, but if you don't like it, just make it longer. Back to it, measure your fabric with the length of your skirt and fold it, that way when you cut it, you're going to cut front and back together. And because you folded, now you need to separate the front piece from the back piece. I repeated this process one more time so the pleats of my skirts are really deep. And also, you're going to do lots of ironing for this project. You need patience. Really, it's not very difficult, it's just that it's time consuming. Alright, now that you have four rectangles, you're going to sew them together. Remember to put the wrong side facing up, that way all the seams are gonna be inside of your skirt and not on the outside. Just sew it on a straight line and come back so we can do the pleats. Now for the pleats, you're going to need a piece of cardboard or an object that is as wide as you want your pleats to be. Place your object on the fabric and hold it, that's going to be the outside pleat. Now place it again and turn it inside, that's going to be the inside of your pleat. And now you're going to repeat this forever until the end of times. Place it one time to be the outside of the pleat and then place it again to be the inside of the pleat. Out and in and out and in and out and in and out and in. I'm not gonna lie, this takes forever, but I do find it super satisfying, if it makes any sense. Anyways, before we run out of time, let me shout out some followers. There are amazing cosplayers and they're making stuff in their house. If you would like a shout out here too, use hashtag HSummerBlog so I can see what you're making. To be honest, this doesn't take that long, it's just that I have help. So, yeah, if you don't have help, it's a lot helpful. <laughs> it's a lot faster. <laughs> Anyways, remember I said that you're gonna do lots of ironing? Uh, yeah, round two. I like steaming all the pleats in place. Um, you can do that before or after sewing. I think before and after is a lot easier. <laughs> Personally, I think the synthetic fabrics hold way better all the pleats and if you're having any trouble, just use a little ice cube. The temperature shock is gonna hold the pleats very, very well. Alright, now it's time for the waistband. Um, you're gonna do pretty much the same thing, just flip it over and cut up a strip of one inch or two inches wide. 
Round three for ironing. I like ironing it because it makes it a lot easier for sewing. With the inside facing out, sew all around the edges of your rectangle, leaving just one space open so you can flip it over. Now pin the waistband to your skirt and try it on. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen this before. <laughs> Now that everything is in place and you're happy with the length of your skirt, to make the hem, you just have to flip a little bit of the fabric and stitch in a straight line. And finally, stitch the waistband in place and sew a little button inside. And your skirt is complete! I mean, just to make sure, this is not just for Yumiko, you can use this tutorial for any character that has a similar skirt, okay? So don't be overly attached to the names. <laughs> And like I said, this is the series where we're gonna make the entire cosplay together. This is video one. Check out what we're doing for the coat. Yeah, yeah, right? So if you haven't, give me a thumbs up and follow my channel so we can do more videos like this together. Thank you so much for your like and bye-bye.